Good morning, my dear students. Yesterday we are discussing about chemical kinetics. Yeah, and uh, before that I discussed about uh, thermodynamics in first year. In that I skipped some formulas. I want to discuss why. Listen here. For example, if you consider in thermodynamics. In thermodynamics, I want to discuss about chemical chemical thermodynamics in chemical thermodynamics i want to discuss about i want to discuss about what is the meaning of heat of formation delta h not f delta h not f how to do how to approach this kind of numericals heat of formation it is defined as the amount of energy liberated or absorbed in the formation of one mole of chemical substance from its constituent elements which are in their standard state is called heat of formation. For example, formation of carbon dioxide gas. In the formation of carbon dioxide gas, here carbon has to be taken in the form of graphite only in the form of graphite only graphite plus oxygen should be in the gas form now the amount of heat liberated is called heat of formation okay yeah now in the heat of formation of water also h2 plus half o2 gas equilibrates h2o gas H2O liquid delta H is some minus 285 kilojoules given and heat of combustion of benzene is given C6H6 plus 15 by 2O2 gives rise to 6 mole of carbon dioxide gas and 3 mole of water. Here delta H is given some minus 3700 kilojoules. My question, how to calculate heat of formation? Delta H, delta H, F, formation of benzene equal to how much? How to approach this kind of numerical questions? For that, we have to consider 6 mole of carbon, 3 mole of hydrogen forming C6H6. Delta H is equal to how much? Now, what I am saying, in order to get this expression, in order to get this expression, what we have to do, you simply see number of carbons here. Here, 1, equation 1. This is the equation 2, equation 3. So, to, in order to form this equation, you don't want to simplify anything. Directly, you see the stoichiometry, 6 carbon. So, equation equation 1 into 6 plus equation 2 into 3 minus equation 3 then you will get the option means 6 into minus 393 plus 3 into minus 285 minus of minus 3700 that you have to simplify like that you have to approach Next, now I want to discuss about another one. <coughs> Listen, my dear students. For example, for example, heat of neutralization. What is the meaning of heat of neutralization? The amount of energy liberated when one gram equivalent weight of an acid, equivalent of acid, mixed with one gram equivalent of 1 gram equivalent of base to form 1 mole of water. So, the energy liberated in the formation of this mixing is called heat of neutralization. It is always exothermic. Now, if you consider strong acid and strong base, it leads to form salt plus water. For example, if I am considering HCl plus NaOH gives rise to 
sodium chloride plus water. Now delta H is equal to minus 57.3 kilojoules. Always. Or, or minus 13.7 kilocalorie. This is when one equivalent of HCl mixed by one equivalent of sodium hydroxide means 36.5 gram of HCl and 40 gram of NaOH. The heat liberated is this much. For example, in the question, if they have given 4 gram of HCl and 4 gram of NaOH, how much heat liberated? Like that, if they ask you, how to approach? How to approach? Very simple. Here, 40 grams required 36.5 gram. 4 grams required how much? 3.65 gram. But given, given 4 grams, this is excess. So, it is limiting reagent. Therefore, the amount of heat liberated only proportional to limiting reagent. Therefore, 40 grams liberated minus 57.3 kilojoule. Then, 4 grams liberated how much? Minus 5.73 kilojoule. Like that, you can easily do that. Another one. See. For example, if they have given like this, see my dear students, if they have given heat of neutralization of HCl with sodium hydroxide equal to neutralization like NaCl plus water, delta H is equal to, we know some minus 57.3 kilojoule but they gave you x next heat of neutralization of sulfuric acid with sodium hydroxide equal to sodium sulfate plus water 2 mole of water delta h is equal to 2 into minus 57.3 it is given as y now, x comma y are related as relation between x and y. Relation between relation between x and y. How to get this? Now, I am saying this is equation 1. It is equation 2. So, equation 1 divided by equation 2 means that x by y is equal to minus 57.3 kilojoule by 2 into minus 57.3 kilojoule. You can cancel these two. So, x by y is equal to 1 by 2 or y is equal to 2x. This is the relation between them. Understood? Like that they are asking you. You should not take any tension. If the questions are asking like that, you are able to attempt it. Another one. Another one. Listen very properly. 20 ml of 20 ml of 0.1 molar HCl mixed with 30 ml of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide Calculate heat of neutralization. If questions are asking like this, how to approach? Very simple. How? Listen. Here, you have to find out number of equivalent. Number of equivalent is equal to normality into volume in ml whole by 1000. So, here normality, this can also be written as 0.1 normal. This can also be written as 0.1 normal because only one replaceable H plus and OH minus. 
So, normality 0 0.1 into 20 by 1000 is equal to is equal to what you are getting now? This 2 are cancelled. 2 into 10 power minus 3. Now, my question is 20 ml of 0.1 molar HCl, 30 ml of 0.1 normal HCl are mixing together. The energy liberated is given as x kilojoule. Then what is the heat of neutralization? Yeah, this is 2 into 10 power minus 3. This is acid. Likewise, you find base 3 into 10 power minus 3. So, here acid. This is base. This is limiting reagent. This is limiting reagent. Therefore, it is only considering this is taken as excess. Whenever excess amount is there, that we should not consider. Therefore, now this is only 2 into 10 power minus 3 liberated. Huh? Minus x kilojoule. Why we have to consider minus heat of neutralization always exothermic. Now, one equivalent one equivalent liberated how much? That is called heat of neutralization. So, 1 into minus x by 2 into 10 power minus 3. That is equal to, that is equal to 1000 by 2 into minus x. It is called minus 500 x kilojoule. Like that we have to approach. This is a heat of neutralization. Now, same thing I am explaining another point. Very important point. What is that? See, for example, heat of neutralization of hydrogen cyanide is taken as x kilojoule. Calculate heat of, heat of ionization of hydrogen cyanide equal to how much? How to approach this kind of numericals? Very important, very interesting. Listen properly. First you take hydrogen cyanide upon reaction by sodium hydroxide forming sodium cyanide and water. Delta H is equal to minus x kilojoule. Now, we know strong acid and strong base. Upon neutralization forming NaCl and water, delta H is equal to minus 57.3 kilojoules. <laughs> now, this is equation 1 and it is equation 2. Now, equation 1 minus equation 2 means hydrogen cyanide plus NaOH minus this is strong acid can be written as ion form minus Na plus minus OH minus gives rise to Na plus Na plus because it is salt salt can be written as ionic form Na plus and Cn minus plus water minus again Na plus minus Cl minus, minus water, that is equal to minus x minus of minus 57.3. Like that we have to approach. Now, you can cancel common ions. NaOH, you can cancel. This NaOH also cancelled. Here, minus Na plus, you can cancel. Na plus cancelled. Cl minus Cl minus. H2O, H2O. Only Cn left here. Only H plus. You write this H plus to right side. So, finally what you are getting? Hydrogen cyanide gives rise to H plus and Cn minus. Delta H is equal to what you are getting now? It is getting positive. So, 57.3 minus x kilojoule that is your option 
So that is heat of ionization. Now what is my question? If you consider, what is my question? If you consider, if you consider any, any, any salt, if you consider any, any weak acid or weak base, if you consider any weak acid or weak base, then delta H ionization, delta H ionization is equal to, is always equal to, what is that? Basicity, basicity or acidity, acidity into minus 57.3. Minus 57.3 plus, plus delta H neutralization of weak acid or weak base. Sir, how sir, what is this shortcut formula? <laughs> Very shortcut formula. What is that? C. For example, heat of neutralization of Barium or uh, beryllium hydroxide is given. Beryllium hydroxide upon heat of neutralization. Upon heat of neutralization with strong acid. It forms beryllium chloride plus 2 mole of water. Delta H N is equal to. For example, if they have given heat of neutralization, they have given some value x x now we already know heat of mutilation of strong acid and strong base forming nacl plus h2o delta h is equal to some minus 57.3 kilojoule it is also given as kilojoule now i am asking heat of ionization of beryllium hydroxide beryllium plus 2 plus 2 mole of OH minus that is called heat of ionization. What I was telling this is equation 1, this is equation 2. But here how many HCl is there? 2 HCl. You are neutralizing with 2 mole of HCl and basicity, acidity is 2. Therefore, it should be multiplied by 2. It should be multiplied by 2. Now that's what I am saying. Basicity of acid or base. Oh, oh, one minute. Delta H neutralization of weak acid or weak base minus minus delta H neutralization of strong acid plus strong base into acidity or basicity or basicity. I wrote reverse. Therefore, we got now delta H neutralization of weak acid and weak base x given. So, finally x that is some value. x means you should consider as minus value. Negative sign. Minus of minus 57.3 into 2 because heat of neutralization always exothermic. This is a shortcut formula I am saying. Therefore, it is equal to it is equal to minus x plus 57.3 into 2 6 14 1 is there 11 so 111.114.6 kilojoule. So finally, finally 114.6 minus x. You will get positive value. You will get a positive value. Like that. Once again tell me what is the shortcut formula that I am saying now heat of neutralization 
Now listen properly. What I am saying the shortcut formula, my dear students. What I am saying, listen properly. This is not. This is not. What we have to do near one minute. Just a minute. Yeah. This is the formula. This is the actual formula. What is that? What is the formula, sir? Delta H neutralization of weak acid and weak base minus of delta H neutralization of strong acid plus strong base into acidity or basicity. That's what we are doing. So, like that you can easily do any kind of numericals. Similarly, for example, if you have given, if you have given some uh, beryllium chloride dot 2 mole of H2O solution, solid, when dissolved in water, beryllium chloride aqueous plus 2 mole of water is given as some minus x. Similarly, yeah, beryllium chloride, beryllium chloride solid on reaction with water. Not like this. I have to take only the numerical formula, then only I can finish this. Because I don't have that content. See, if we have the actual formula, actual question, we can approach. What is that actually? Any hydrated salt is given. The dissolution energy is given some value. And formation of beryllium chloride solid also given some value. What is the enthalpy of hydration if they are asking? Right? In that case, how to approach questions? That is very important. That's what I am thinking. What is that numerical? Just give me one minute. I will see the question and then I will discuss. Don't feel it is a time consuming because question is very important here. Discussing the important question, approaching of important question because without having that question I can't teach. I need some values properly. Just one minute. Mm. Just one minute. I'm seeing the thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. T one page number. Yeah. Yes. Now, what I am going to say, listen properly. Don't feel that it is a wasting of time. In the question the question is discussed in time. Easy a question Miku. Dan person is just now a question and is not to work at law. Where it is. 
కన్ఫామ్ జేఈ మెయిన్స్ అడ్వాన్స్లో ఉంటుంది ఐఎమ్ సీన్ దట్ బుక్ ఆల్సో ప్లీజ్ వెయిట్ జస్ట్ వెయిట్ థర్మోడైనమిక్స్ యా థర్టీ సిక్స్ ఎస్ just wait my dear students please don't mind i'm very sorry for that because i want i'm searching the good question i'm not able to find out still still not able to find out definitely it would ask in some aims previous year questions physical chemistry ఓకే ఫైన్ సి ఈవెన్ దో ఐఎమ్ సర్చింగ్ నాట్ ఈజీ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ఫిజికల్ కెమిస్ట్రీ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ పార్ట్ Confirm it will come. Just a minute. Mm. Yes. Yeah, confirm. It came now. Now I want to discuss the question with data. Without data, I cannot do this question. yeah it came so just wait my dear students i am very sorry for that because that is a very good question i am searching for that question because that is you can scroll you can scroll when you are watching this video but that question is formation of that question is hmm here magnesium sulfate dissolved in water the heat evolved was 91.21 kilo joule one mole of dissolution gives enthalpy of hydration they are asking yes listen magnesium sulfate 
magnesium sulfate dissolved in water dissolved in water heat liberated is 91.211 kilojoule yeah one mole of magnesium sulfate one mole of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate dissolved in water in this case the heat liberated is given dissolution gives the same composition accompanied by absorption of heat 13.807 given now they are asking calculate enthalpy of hydration enthalpy of hydration of magnesium sulfate solid equal to how much this much very simple you consider first magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate solid when dissolved in water it is converted into mgso4.7 h2o delta h is equal to minus 91.211 kilojoule equation 1 next magnesium sulfate heptahydrate solid when dissolved in water it forms magnesium sulfate aqueous plus 7 mole of water they have given absorption of heat 13.80 kilojoule second equation now they are asking amount of heat liberated when magnesium sulfate solid on hydration it will convert into mgso4.7 h2o here delta h is equal to how much that is their question if the question is asking like this how to approach whenever questions are asking like that like that how to approach listen listen we want this expression finally given this equation this equation do one thing equation 1 minus equation 2 okay equation 1 minus equation 2 this is solid so if you want to get this equation it is a solid we want this for that what we have to do just reverse equation 1 equation 2 it is equation 1 it is equation 2 equation 1 minus equation 2 then automatically you will get this expression you will get this expression why because mgso4 solid you reverse when you are reversing this equation on reversing then it will become then it will become plus mgso4 plus 7 water gives rise to mgso4.7 h2o right and this is what solid hmm? now you are getting mgso4. Dot no it is aqueous sorry aqueous we can't predict how many water molecules are coming just a dissolution only given dissolution only given this is aqueous therefore it is aqueous therefore it is called this is called aqueous aqueous plus 7 water or just keeps aqueous only it is also aqueous 7 water no need now you cancel these two you got the required equation therefore this is equal to minus 91.211 minus 13.80 finally finally what you are getting now you have to add both of them like that you have to approach 
I am very sorry for consuming your time. This is a very important question. Once again, once again, I am explaining, listen carefully. What is that? Dissolution or magnesium sulfate value given. Dissolution is exothermic. Exothermic. And dissolution of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. Absorption value given. They said absorption. How much heat of hydration? Like that you can easily simplify. Okay. Now, I want to start next chapter that is electrochemistry. This is a very interesting and important point. Electrochemistry. Listen my dear students. Electrochemistry. It is a branch of chemistry which deals with the which deals with the conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy and vice versa. Electrochemistry. Here in this electrochemistry, first we have to know the meaning of mechanism of electrolysis. Yeah. Deposition potential of cations, lithium, cesium, rubidium, potassium, calcium, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, like that zinc, H plus, copper, silver and gold, like that. And decreasing order of deposition potentials of anion, F minus, sulfate ion, nitrate ion, hydroxide, chloride, bromide, iodide, carbonate. This is the decreasing order of deposition potentials of anion. Now, what I am going to say, what I am going to say here, if you take aqueous, aqueous sodium sulphate on electrolysis, on electrolysis, what are the products formed at cathode and anode? Products formed at cathode and at anode. How to get that? You see the aqueous solution of sodium sulphate, 2 mole of Na plus, SO4 minus 2. And here, water and OH minus. Okay. Now, generally water is taken as H plus ion and OH minus ion. Among Na plus and H plus, H plus involved in reaction because low deposition potential. Therefore, the reaction at cathode, 2 mole of H plus gain 2 electrons forms H2 gas. Now, the reaction takes place at cathode, 4 mole of OH minus gives, gives 2 mole of water plus oxygen liberating 4 electron. Like that we have to approach. So the solution upon electrolysis sodium ion not coming, sulphate ion also not coming. If you consider, if you consider copper sulphate, if you consider copper sulphate aqueous solution, this is platinum cathode and this is platinum anode, aqueous copper sulphate. Consider copper sulphate gives rise to copper ion and sulphate ion and you are considering water means H plus and OH minus. Among Cu plus 2, among Cu plus 2 and OH H plus, copper ion involved in reaction. So, copper deposited at cathode means copper. 
copper deposited means it is 63.5 gram it is consuming 2 faraday or 2 into 96500 coulomb or 2 into 6.023 into 10 to 23 electrons depositing 63.5 gram now among these two the reaction takes place at anode 4 mole of OH minus 2 mole of H2O plus O2 plus 4 electron. Now, what I am going to say if copper sulphate aqueous solution on electrolysis, H plus ions are remaining in aqueous solution. Sulphate ions are remaining in aqueous solution. So, after electrolysis, after electrolysis, what happens after electrolysis? Solution become acid, acidic in nature, acidic. Therefore, pH less than 7. It is after electrolysis. Similarly, if you consider if you consider copper sulphate aqueous solution, aqueous copper sulphate solution upon electrolysis using copper cathode and copper anode. These are called active electrode, aqueous copper sulphate solution. So, copper deposited at cathode and copper dissolved at anode dissolved at anode. So, like that you have to approach one minute. One minute my dear students. Just a minute. Dear students, class will start at 1.30 sharp because till then I am taking physical chemistry formulas. It is finishing. Okay. Thank you, my dear students. So, in this case, pH does not change. pH remain constant. Remain constant. Similarly, now listen here, if you consider, if you consider like that you can approach. Now I will discuss about Faraday first law, according to Faraday first law of electrolysis. Faraday first law, amount of substance deposited is equal to weight of substance deposited or liberated or liberated. Or, dissol or dissolved or deposited equal to ECT, quantity of electricity passed through electrolytic solution. Electrolytic solution. Therefore, what I am saying, it is equal to equivalent weight by 96500 into current into time. That is the weight of substance deposited. Now, for example, volume of any gas liberated is equal to equivalent volume by 96500 into current into time. Equivalent volume, equivalent volume of hydrogen gas, hydrogen gas equal to 22.4 by 2, 11.2 liter. Equivalent volume of oxygen gas. How much? 2O minus 2 gives rise to O2 plus 4 electron. 22.4 by 4, 5.6 liter. Like that we have to approach. Next, now we will discuss about Faraday's second law. What is the meaning of Faraday's second law? Faraday's second law. 
second law of electrolysis the amount of substance deposited or liberated or dissolved at the electrodes in electrolysis is directly proportional to quantity of amount of substance deposited by passing same quantity of current is proportional to their chemical equivalent for example it is silver nitrate it is copper sulfate it is aluminium chloride now in this case weight of silver deposited by equivalent weight of silver is equal to weight of copper deposited by equivalent weight of copper like that for example if 5.4 gram of silver deposited then calculate volume of oxygen gas liberated yeah see weight of silver deposited by equivalent weight of silver 108 similarly weight of oxygen by equivalent weight of oxygen 8 because 2 o minus 2 gives rise to O2 plus 4 electron. It is molar mass 32 by 4. It is 8 grams. So, if you cancel, it will come 20 times. Now, x is equal to 8 by 20. This will cancel for 4 times, 0 0.4 gram. But they are asking volume. We know 32 gram of oxygen liberated 22.4 liter. 0.4 gram of oxygen liberated how much? 0 0.4 into 22.4 by 32. Like that you can do. This is Faraday's second law. Now I want to discuss about electrode potential. Electrode potential. See, when any element placed in its own salt solution, for example, if you keep zinc rod dissolved in zinc sulfate solution of 1 molar concentration at 125 degrees centigrade, 1 atmospheric pressure, then electrode, the, elect the potential developed is minus 0.76 volt. It is called standard reduction potential. Standard reduction potential. So, what I am saying now? Listen, if the concentration other than 1 molar, other than 1 molar, then reduction potential Zn plus 2 plus 2 electron gives Zn. Gives Zn. Now it is reduction. Now, according to Nernest equation, what he is saying? Nernest equation. As per nonest equation, E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 by small n log product by reactant. So, E naught of Zn, E naught Zn plus 2 by Zn is minus 0.76 volt. So, minus 0.76 minus 0 0.0591 by 2 log if the concentration is 0 0.01 molar so product is solid so 1 by this is the reactant 1 by concentration of reactant is given as 0 0.01 10 power minus 2 this will go up so you will get minus 0.76 minus 0 0.06 by 2 into 2. 2 and 2 cancelled. It is minus 0.81 volt. 82. 82 volts. This is the calculation of numerical based on nonest equation. For example, galvanic cell. How to apply galvanic cell? Yeah. If you have zinc rod, Zinc rod dissolved in zinc sulfate solution 0 0.1 molar salt bridge copper cell copper ion 0 0.01 by copper 
it is also 0 0.01 molar. <laughs> now, this standard potentials are given Zn plus 2 by Zn, E naught, Cu plus 2 by Cu. So, we have formula E is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.059 1 by small n log product by reactants. First, to write the equation Zn gives rise to Zn plus 2 and copper ion gives rise to copper. Zinc is 10 power minus 1. Copper is 10 power minus 2. Now, E is equal to, if you take this difference, both of them, then you are getting E naught value. E naught value, E naught cell is equal to, how much you are getting? Its value is plus 0 0.34. Its value is minus 0 0.76. So, E naught cell is equal to ER minus EL. It is ER, right side potential, left hand side potential. Therefore, ER minus EL, ER minus EL plus 0 0.34 minus of minus 0 0.76 plus 1.1 1 .1 volt. So, plus 1.1. .1. Minus 0 0.0591 by 2 log product 10 power minus 1 by 10 power minus 2. It will come log 10. So, plus 1.1 .1 minus 0 0.03 because this round it as 6. So, you should subtract 1.10 0 0.03. It is 1.07 volt plus 1.07 volt. Like that we have to approach. For example, if the solution is having, if the solution is having, listen, cadmium by cadmium plus 2, 0 0.01 molar, salt bridge, Fe plus 3, 0 0.1 molar by Fe. Like that it is given. Now you have to balance that kind of equation. Balance cadmium gives rise to cadmium plus 2. And ferric iron is converted into ferric uh, iron. Here charge 3, here 2, here 3, here 3, here 2. So its concentration is 10 power minus 1. It is 10 power minus 2. Now, if you are writing E is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by number of electrons 2 into 3, 6 electron, 6 log product 10 power minus 2 whole cube by reactant 10 power minus 1 whole square, you have to simplify. Like that you have to approach. Now, if you take concentration cell, concentration, what is the, what is the meaning of concentration cell? In case of concentration cell, zinc rod placed in zinc sulfate solution, zinc sulfate solution of 0.1 molar, Again, another zinc rod placed in. It is also zinc rod. It is also zinc sulphate of concentration 0 0.01 molar. Then, this is a concentration C1, concentration C2. Then, what is the E cell? E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by small n log product by reactant. Here, what is that? In this case, zinc is converted into, this is the, this is at, this is anode, this is cathode. So, zinc is converted into zinc ion plus 2 electron. Its concentration is C1. Now, now the reaction at, cath it is at anode. Now, the reaction at cathode. At cathode, what is happening? Zinc ion converted into zinc. 
concentration C2. Therefore, applying the formula, if you add both equation, cancel zinc and zinc, electron, electron, it is Zn plus 2 C2 gives rise to Zn plus 2 C1. This is the product, it is the reactant. Therefore, E is equal to E naught cell. Whenever concentration, it is same electrode, same electrode. Means it is minus 0.76, it is also minus 0.76. It will become 0. Minus 0 0.0591 by 2 electrons. Log, product. This is a product. Product means C1. 10 power minus 1 by reactant. 10 power this is called reactant now. 10 power minus 2. If we cancel 10. So, minus 0 0.0591 by 2. You are getting negative. Now, what you are getting now? Here, C1 greater than C2. If C1 is greater than C2, then then E no E cell become negative, non-spontaneous because delta G is equal to minus NF E naught cell minus NF. If E naught is negative, negative, it will become positive. If delta G is positive, non-spontaneous, therefore, for concentration cell, the cell reaction has to be, if the cell reaction has to be spontaneous, spontaneous, C2 concentration must be greater than C1, then the reaction is spontaneous. Like that, we are having many model numericals in electrochemistry. Okay? Thank you, my dear students. God bless you, my dear students. God bless you. God bless you, my dear students. God bless you. All the best. Thank you, my dear students.